Hello and welcome to my second video tutorial on 3ds Max 9. I'm Pimple Pie, Pimple Z101, and I'll be teaching you how to do a cloth reactor <coughs> in 3ds Max 9. Sorry for my little quiet, it's night time over here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I guess we're gonna have a cloth fall onto a, a teapot kind of like it's at a museum or something. Okay, so first I'm going to start off by making the ground. Control, click, drag, make an even plane. It's going to be our ground. And we're going to make a box. Make it even. I'll go with that. Let me just center it real quick. Piggy. Uh, that's good. Uh, and give it a nice little shape real quick. I'm not trying to be too picky, but I don't know. Alright. Uh we'll put the teapot and make about that big soon. Drop it over. Don't let it touch because we're gonna make it have a little bit of physics. You know, just in case you wanna make the cloth heavy and have it pulled down with it. We're not gonna be doing that but just get in the habit of doing this, keep leaving a space. Alright, now we're gonna make our cloth. So come over here to plane. You should already know everything we just did, now this is where you start learning. Uh, I'm gonna make it even again. That, that big of a cloth. We're gonna move it up and over the teapot, because we want it to fall onto the teapot. And we're just going to keep it out of the shot as much as we can Okay. now make sure to come over here to the modifier tab and give it a good number of uh, segments segments matter a lot in cloth modifier that's how much it'll bend and be realistic kind of like the threads you don't want too many. So 17 and 17 is good. Okay, then you come over here to your bar on the left. Click the Apply Cloth Modifier while your cloth is selected. Leave it at the default settings. If you want to change something, that's up to you. And create cloth collection. Not the rigid body collection, but the cloth collection while your cloth is selected. Okay, that's good. And now select everything else and do the rigid body collection. Move it out of the way. I'll move this out of the way too, just in case. Okay, so you already know this, but you know, ground inactive concave mesh. This podium thing is also going to be inactive concave mesh because we don't want that moving. We're gonna change this teapot to just uh, a mass of five. We're not gonna change anything else. And that should be good. Come over here, make sure cold tolerance is one. And preview animation. Press P. There you go, that worked out good. Also on here you can just click and drag. Not really working. Oh well. So create the animation real quick, got a bigger picture of it. See so now cloth does take a while to render. 
especially in a bigger picture, which is why you don't want too many segments. It'll take a lot longer. Just use as many as necessary to make it look real. Don't use and over exaggerate. Okay. As you see, our uh, our teapot kind of gets affected. See how it's kind of shaking under there, which is what would happen in real life. Say we move the teapot right here. Okay, the animation just for fun. Give it a minute. When you're a little slow here. Or creating. Play it back. It has a different effect. But yeah, there you go. That is how to do cloth modifier.